Residents of the city's south side came out last night to speak about initiating community policing and a neighborhood watch in the area south of 23rd Avenue. Here's Stephanie Woodard with the story. New Chief of Police Randall Aragon held the meeting last night. We have issues in South Fairbanks. We've got issues all over Fairbanks. We, have, we do have high crime rates. The city's, you know, is up there. Many residents spoke about their issues with the crime rate in the area, which is one of the highest in the city. I had my door kicked in. I got beat up and I got stalked by someone from Cushman. Some had fears with law enforcement, police accountability, and conduct. Their top-ranking concerns, drugs, speeding, and respect by police. I'm afraid of the police more than I am of criminals. They're, they're not respectful. They're not patient. They're, you know, they, don't, they don't give a person any leeway. The minute they stop you, you're a criminal, and that's the way it is. Others in attendance said they fear that as part of the community policing initiative, they may be treated differently. If I was just coming to Fairbanks, I wouldn't even want to drive over here on the south side because it seems so fearful. And then, I mean, it seems like, you know, I mean, anything may happen to me. There's drugs, there are people fleeing from the police. But when I read in the newspaper that this happens in the entire North Star Borough, not just on the south side. Officials want to build the partnership and trust to make the program work. This was a friendly visit from the, from the community-oriented policing side of the operation to you. Okay. If we're going to stick out a hand, it can't be something that you're going to get bit. Many in attendance said they feel it's about the trust and moving forward with the department. We have to feel safe to walk down the streets. We have to feel safe to go into a store uh, and, and know that we're going to, you know, not be uh, robbed or threatened if we even go in that store at night. The police can't do it all. We have to, we have to take a step uh, as living over here. We have to say, hey, look, we need help and not be in fear, you know, to call the police. Chief Aragon said this is just the beginning and he envisions taking these watches to other areas of the city. Another meeting for the community policing initiative in South Fairbanks is scheduled for April. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting.